Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to make a shock mount for the Audio Technica AT2020 USB microphone. Thank you for your feedback from the last video. Most people asked me to use my voice for the video, so here I am. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more and we are almost 100 tinkers here. Here is the microphone, it comes with a small stand, but we will not use this. Instead, we will use an IKEA tertial lamp and we will design together the shock mount. Without further ado, let's get to it. In order to create a great design, we should always start with accurate measurements. That's why we sketch everything down before moving to the design. I took the measurements for both microphone and the IKEA tertial lamp, sketched the basic design that I wanted and then chose the according dimensions, screws and nuts. Moving to the design, I started learning Fusion 360 recently and I really like it. From now on, we will use it to create and design anything we will need for our projects. I started with a basic sketch, then extruded it to the required dimensions, added holes for fasteners and then exported the files as STL. Here is the final 3D design, now let's 3D print it. After the printer finished all the parts, I used a 2mm drill bit to enlarge the holes I created earlier. This will ensure a free and smooth movement of the wire. For assembly, we will use M3 bolts and nuts. 
Don't forget to check the description for the bill of materials. Now we should assemble it, so let's get to work. Here is the steel wire we will use to connect the parts together. I chose to use this instead of elastic band because I cannot find special audio ones as spare parts and I think it looks cool in combination with the microphone and the 3D printed part. Here we will put the wire in two separate ways, one for the top holes and one for the bottom ones. In this way any movement from the articulated arm will be absorbed by this mechanism. To join the ends of the steel wires I used an electrical wire clamp. Thanks for staying till the end, I hope you enjoyed the process of making this shock mount. I've been using it for the past days and it works like a charm, it is easy to move and it holds its position without any problem. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up button. If you want to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. 